you can be an intelligence officer for your whole career if you, if you so choose. It can be an absolute career pathway in itself. My granddad was a police inspector in Nottinghamshire and he ultimately said he joined the police because he wanted to help people. Um, and so to me it was a bit of a role model at the time uh, and I thought that's what I wanted to do. Did the usual GCSEs, A-levels uh, and then went through two degrees which was a BA Honours degree in Criminology at Nottingham and then a Master of Science degree in Criminology and Criminal Justice at Loughborough. But I joined uh, Leicestershire Police um, and then worked there for 10 years. I've always been drawn to the role of intelligence, um, so I went down the traditional detective route in Leicestershire, um, did mainstream hub CID, uh, financial investigation, proactive teams, I transferred police forces, um, so essentially completely uh, had to start my career again uh, after 15 years. Um, but fully accepted that I ultimately had to follow a set route to become uh, affiliated to Derbyshire and to know the dynamics of the organisation. My current role is temporary DCI for intelligence. It encompasses various departments in terms of the divisional intelligence unit, um, the proactive unit, uh, which is a team of um, predominantly plainclothes officers that deal with drugs, county lines, cuckooing, um, enforcing warrants and, and proactive operations. The biggest draw to me is um, the satisfaction of coming to work every morning, chairing the daily uh, management meeting, everybody will dial in and, and it's the divisional intelligence unit that populates that document um, and that's around priority risk and threat areas um, but, but it's around um, what intelligence have we had in the last 24 hours? Where does that sit in terms of threat and risk? What can actually be allocated out to an intel officer for slow time development? Um, and what needs action in today? Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a cog in that in terms of making those wider strategic decisions around the processing of intelligence and, and making sure it's allocated out uh, and, and acted accordingly. Uh, my line manager is a superintendent on division, but then I also have an equivalent superintendent in the world of intelligence, the director of intelligence. How am I developing my skills now? Um, is looking for um, opportunities for self-development within the intelligence world. So, for example, I have gone through the intelligence professionalisation portfolio. I went into the intel manager's role at DI level in uh, Derbyshire. And as part of that, um, there was an individual in our FIB, Force Intelligence Management Unit, that was responsible for getting everybody accredited. So I did the one for the intelligence manager in terms of setting strategic objectives, upskilling the IDOs, uh, the intel development officers. I've tried to develop new intelligence officers. We buddy them up with other people, make sure they go through almost like an internal checklist to aid their knowledge. Um, I've personally put myself forward to be an assessor for new work-based assessment inspectors, whether that's mainstream or going into the intelligence world. I'd like to stay in the world of intelligence, the aspirationally. Uh, everybody's got to have a dream, so I would like to potentially be considered for the director of intelligence. In the absence of that, I'd potentially like to be an SIO uh, in major crime, a senior investigating officer. And I suppose the further up the the rank you do go, the more intelligence that you'll be exposed to, uh, because essentially you'll be signing the authorities off and how that complies with um, legislation and the codes of practice. My advice to somebody that wanted to go down the intelligence route is learn the intelligence model, what does that practically look like, um, try and get yourself an attachment to the divisional intelligence unit, being energetic in terms of your pursuit of the truth around intelligence, questioning that piece of intelligence in terms of well, where's it come from, uh, testing the veracity of that intelligence, is it accurate, is it reliable, making sure that you're conscientious and dotting the I's and crossing the T's, try and enjoy your career, try and do it with a bit of a laugh and a smile on your face um, because at the end of all this the reason you're doing this is, is ultimately to serve the public and to give something back so in terms of career aspirations your career doesn't have to always go upwards, it can go horizontally, you can go into specialist other departments, it doesn't always have to be about promotion. So if you find something you really enjoy, don't be quick to run away from that and, and get the most out that you can from that.